Once he knows there's a mouse, he's gonna want it. Except right now he's, <laughs> oh dude, he scared me. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, there, no, he knows, he knows. Oh, oh. What Oh! He missed. He hissed at you too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You got it. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna be working on the Odyssey. So the goal for today is to get the motor completely ripped out of this thing so we can start on putting the new motor together and getting that thrown in here. So uh, we did pick up the block yesterday and that is all done and ready to go. So all the sleeves are machined to fit the new pistons but we got these Aries pistons for it right here. So very nice piston. These will be able to handle anything we throw at it. But uh, yeah. We will be getting that put together probably in another video, getting the bottom end all thrown together. But for today, we do want to try to get this motor all the way out of the car. And uh, yeah, we were going to try to mess with it a little more on the nitrous, but uh, this motor's really hurt, so I don't think there's really much of a point. It's just not going to live much longer if we throw anything more at it. So we're going to try to get it all pulled apart right now. And uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get. Never pulled the motor out of a minivan before, but this will be a first. open. Yeah. That would be good for 600 horse. We'll just duct tape that together. Zip ties, bro. Yeah. She'll be alright. Axle number two is out. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. These motor mounts are shot. He's got a better leak. <laughs> so we had to come over to Home Depot real quick to get some chain for the cherry picker because I forgot we don't have any. But, uh, yeah, I think that should be enough. Rated for 520 pounds. All right, so we're a couple hours in and we're pretty much ready to pull this motor out. We had to run to Home Depot real quick to get a chain. But uh, yeah, we just have the two side motor mounts left and hopefully that's all that's holding it in. There might be a couple coolant lines in the back, but I guess we'll find out as we're pulling it out. So we pretty much just got the axles pulled, got everything up in the front pulled, like the radiator and the AC condenser, unhooked the harness and everything like that. And she's pretty much ready to be yanked out. So we're gonna get to it, hopefully it goes smooth. It is kind of weird because this motor sits like really far back, like underneath, like into the van. So we're gonna have to get it loose and then kind of bring the whole thing forward and then up and out. And then we also uh, may have an issue with this uh, exhaust right here because it's wrapped around and it might try to hit on this front like K member thing right here. But we're thinking if we get the mounts off and then get it up in the air a little bit, we'll be able to just uh, pull that out because it's all one piece and these three bolts holding the half of it together are like rusted shut. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. But yeah, this thing should be out in the next few minutes hopefully.
All right, so it took us a little over three hours to get the motor pulled out of the minivan. Uh, we we're having some trouble as we were pulling it out. It was getting like all caught up and the chain fell off a couple times, but we got it. It's out. So uh, yeah, now that that's done, um, it is getting pretty late out, so we're not gonna do anything more on it tonight, but tomorrow we're probably gonna clean up the engine bay, start uh, power washing some things out, uh, probably get rid of the AC lines and just things that we are not gonna need. And uh, I also did just take off this rear motor mount as well. I wasn't sure how um, this innovative mount was supposed to bolt on at first, because this is how it was bolted on there. It was just this rear mount, but uh, I took that off and I guess there's like another bolt hole underneath it, which is already threaded, so this will just kind of bolt on like that, so that's nice. Because I was a little worried that I ordered the wrong mounts, but it looks like it's the right one. But uh, yeah, motor's out. Also very soon, gonna get the bottom end for the H22 put together, since I have all the parts for that as well. I don't know if I said it already or not, but I just got the main studs and head studs today. So I was waiting on the head studs to put the bottom end together and then obviously the head studs for when the head needs to go on, but I still need to get uh, springs and retainers for the head, which are on the way as well. So that will be the last piece I need to uh, put the motor together. But uh, yeah. But we did get the motor out of the van today, so it is officially the start of the turbo minivan project. So we brought the MR2 out, got it filled up with gas, and we're just gonna be taking her out for a cruise since we got as far as we could on the minivan for tonight. So it's gonna be like the good old days, see if we can find anybody to cruise with. There should be some people out tonight. It is Friday, even though it is a little cold, but yeah, we'll see who's out tonight. Yeah, you're all in the back of the lease. Do you like my uncle did? Got the 88 uh, Fiero GT. Yeah. And drop a North Star 468. <laughs> you had no trouble. Yeah, he, 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 he took this, he cut it out, and put a fucking North Star in the back of that thing. <laughs> like, fucking nuts. <laughs> I was getting stuck. It was hitting the gas line. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's right. Look, it was going, when you'd floor it, you'd go past it, and then it would hold it right there. Oh, uh, yeah. See? You can't pull it forward this way? Dude, Crescent right here. Oh, sweet. Let's put that on there. Hold it. I like your home data place. I can at least leave it on the cart on the cart. Katie. <laughs> Limit yourself. <laughs> guys we just got back in the MR2 we had a pretty fun night but uh, that's gonna be it for this video so I think tomorrow we are gonna be also going to the junkyard to look for a shift linkage for this thing out of like a 94 to 97 Accord it's what we're gonna be looking for on top of you know cleaning out the engine bay and doing some other things to this but uh yeah be sure to look forward to that and yeah I'm just really excited because the 600 horsepower minivan project has officially started. So there will definitely be a lot more to look forward to in these uh, next few weeks of working on this van. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.